Okay, uh, again, we have some financial data here, and in this ratio, we want to talk about the price earnings ratio or the PE ratio. The, pre, the PE ratio is a, uh, I call it a marketability ratio. It relates to how our uh, stock performs in the market. And so um, it's pretty much just what it means the price to earnings. And uh, the, the, it's kind of important because what it, stocks tend to trade at a value greater than their earnings. And so um, it's not uncommon to find some stock that have PE ratios of 15 or 20, meaning they're trading 15 or 20 times greater than their earnings. And in fact, we tend to call stocks like that cheap stocks, meaning that they are not trading ex uh, significantly greater than their earnings. If you go into the market, you'll find some stocks that trade at a, at a P.E. ratio of 50 or 100 or 500, meaning their price of what they're going for in the market is just so much significantly higher than their earnings. And those are stocks that are just, you know, very, very, um, usually very popular. Everybody loves them. Uh, they're also stocks that are very risky, right? If the earnings never catch up, you know, those companies could cle clearly go out of business. If you're at all familiar with a lot of the, the quote-unquote dot-com bubble of the 90s, um, there were many of these dot-com businesses um, that were, the P.E. ratios were uh, extraordinarily high and very few of them are still in business. Okay, so the P.E. ratio, uh, let me give you the formula for that. The P.E. ratio is the market price um, of the stock divided by the earnings per share. Now in this problem we're going to have to calculate earnings per share but in real life earnings per share is given to you. It's like the only ratio that's given in the financial statements. Earnings per share is the um, uh, net income and then there is a little technical thing here minus preferred stock dividends but this, this company doesn't have any preferred stock, divided by um, common stock number of, sh whoops, of shares outstanding. Meaning how many outstanding, meaning how many are being held by um, um, investors in the secondary market. Uh, that would be pri primarily all of our shares unless we had treasury stock. If we held treasury stock, that would reduce um, the number that's outstanding. Okay, so a few things are given to us here. Um, the number of shares outstanding is right there. Uh, net income is right there, and there's no preferred stock. So 70,000 of net income divided by 7,000 shares outstanding gives us earnings per share of ten dollars. The market price of the of the stock is twenty one so I'm out of room here. Um, uh, maybe I can put it here. So it's twenty one divided by ten or which is two point one. This is a very low PE ratio. And um, and here we go. So this stock is trading very you know very low. If this were company that you thought, wow, this, this company could go somewhere, this would be a very low risk investment.